What's up, everybody? How's it going? This is an emergency video. I am wearing a blue crew neck as opposed to a black v-neck. That's how much of an emergency video this video is. We need to talk about the tech software engineering bubble that has just burst or that is in the process of bursting as we speak and about its impact on you existing and aspiring software engineers. Look, unless you've been living under a rock during the last few weeks and months, then you know that the entire stock market right now is doing terribly, and perhaps more surprisingly, even historically super strong tech stocks are doing terribly right now. I mean, Amazon is down 40% from the top. Google is down 25% from the top. Facebook Meta is down 50% from the top. You've got companies like Netflix and Shopify that are behaving like complete crypto altcoins and that are down almost 80% from their respective tops. And I'm not even going to start talking about smaller companies like Robinhood, Zoom, Uber, Lyft that have just been completely decimated. Right now, things are looking very grim for tech stocks, and so it begs the question, are we software engineers who have been experiencing a decade of glory, a decade of being treated like kings and queens with amazing salaries and perks and benefits and all sorts of things, are we about to experience the opposite? Is the field of software engineering going to start to be in danger? Are you no longer going to have to prep for your technical interviews with my company, AlgoExpert, by going to algoexpert.io and using the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform? If you were someone who was considering becoming a software engineer, learning to code by using my company, Programming Expert, programmingexpert.io, using the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform, should you no longer do any of these things? Are we in danger? Well, my answer, my opinion, is that no, we are not in danger. No, you should not panic. Yes, you will still have to prep for technical interviews with Algo Expert if you wanted to learn to code with Programming Expert or any other tool or bootcamp or platform, you should still do so. And I'm going to tell you two reasons, two analyses that have brought me to this conclusion. The first one is that we have to take a close look at what companies, tech companies, are actually being affected by the ecosystem right now, and in what capacity. And the answer is pretty clearly that the majority of companies that are really being affected right now are small to mid-sized companies that are trying to grow, but that make no money or at the very least, no profit. We're talking about all these companies that have raised millions of dollars from venture capitalists, or at least are trying to raise millions of dollars from venture capitalists, yet have no product or no sound business model, and that basically rely on VC money to keep them afloat. These are the kinds of companies that are experiencing the toughest time right now because the venture capitalist landscape is starting to experience a huge pullback. VCs are much more disciplined with you know, who they give their money out to, what kinds of valuations they're giving to these companies. And so these companies are running out of cash and are basically dying. And they're going to have to lay off engineers or they're just not going to hire engineers in the first place. But I would argue that this is actually a good thing. Not you know the laying off of people. Obviously, like that sucks. But the truth is that these companies were unsustainable in the first place. And this is where I think that there really has been a huge you know, bubble in the last you know, decade and especially the last few years because ultimately, like, in order for a business to actually you know, function and thrive, it needs to make money. And in order to make money, it needs to produce a good or service that is founded on a sound business model that allows that good or service to make money, to generate revenue for the business, and for the business to generate a profit. And so these companies that just didn't have all these important pieces of a business together, they were just raising money out of nowhere at these insane valuations, being very negligent with the way they managed this money, hiring tons of people, including tons of engineers, but that was just a waste. Like these engineers 
weren't necessarily needed for these companies to actually thrive. And so the truth is that most of these companies eventually implode as we're starting to see now. And so by no longer having these types of companies you know, in the market or not you know, entertaining them, you, the engineer, will simply avoid joining a company where most of your compensation would be tied in unvaluable equity, like equity that will never have much value, and you are avoiding a future layoff from a company that is simply unsustainable. So I think that that is not something that you should worry about too much. If anything, you should just say, okay, there are no longer these sort of bad companies in the horizon. I can only focus on companies that will actually be like safe, good places to work at. Now, the second thing that makes me still feel very bullish and optimistic about you know, software engineering is that even though there are some companies that are not you know, BS companies that make no money and everything, there are some really good companies like you know, Meta, Facebook, or Netflix that are experiencing tough times right now. And for example, Meta has confirmed that it is doing a hiring freeze at the moment. Even though there are some of these companies that are experiencing you know, trouble and that might be offering fewer opportunities for software engineers, the truth is that as we've seen at all times in history before, whenever there are some companies that are doing poorly, like during the pandemic where some companies got really hurt, there are other companies that are doing very well. So Meta or Netflix might be experiencing you know, issues with their underlying business models. Maybe they're experiencing a lot more competition. You know, Netflix has Hulu, Peacock, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, all these other streaming platforms. But that means that all these other streaming platforms are doing pretty well, and they need to hire software engineers. For example, Amazon, my sources are telling me that Amazon is accelerating its hiring in 2022. It's hiring super aggressively right now. And they recently announced that they've increased all of their you know, compensation bans. And so they're giving out basically more money to people. And that is perhaps unsurprising because nothing's really changed about Amazon's underlying business model. It's still doing very well. And so all that to say, just because some companies are experiencing hardship doesn't mean that all companies are experiencing hardship. Amazon stock is probably not reflective right now of Amazon's actual you know, performance as a company and future outlook. And if anything, that's another reason that now is a great time to be a software engineer because you can get compensation offers where the stock component of your compensation package is based on stock that is lower valued, meaning that it will have room to appreciate. You know, it's much better to be getting an offer from Meta or Amazon right now when the stock is 40 or 50% down than four months ago when it was 40 or 50% up. Because now, like, you've lost, you know, half of your equity in your offer. And that really sucks. And that's just like poor timing. But so, yes, the point is tons of other companies are still doing very well. Every company these days needs software engineers. Every company is desperate for software engineers. And every company that is actively going to be hiring is going to be competing for you, the software engineer. And as an example, we on Algo Expert are a small company, and yet we are also hiring. If you're a strong mobile engineer or product manager, ideally with you know, big tech company work experience and you're looking for something new, check out our jobs page, algoexpert.io slash jobs. We're looking for course creators, for mobile expert, PM expert. But the point is, just because some small companies aren't doing well, doesn't mean that all small companies aren't doing well. All that to say, I think software engineers aren't going anywhere. I don't think you should panic at all. If you were panicking, it's all gonna be fine. The worst thing that can happen is you are someone who is working at one of those unsustainable companies and you go through a layoff, but you will have no problem bouncing back up on your feet and getting another better job at a much more sustainable and safe, secure company. That's all I've got for you for this emergency video. I hope that you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.